Today we're taking a look at these NHL matches, which are happening on Thursday, February 23, 2023, and giving you our team and total picks for today. Welcome back to High Stakes. Before we dive into our video, don't forget to subscribe and push that notification bell to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos and make sure to watch it till the end so you don't miss any of our picks. Also check out our Patreon if you want access our premium picks. Our Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. You will find the link in description and comment section below. One more thing before we start, check out our new channel High Stakes Props and Parlays, where you can find our player props and parlay picks predictions. You will find the link in the description and comments section below. Pittsburgh Penguins vs Tampa Bay Lightning The Lightning have lost three of their last four games, but they play well at home, where they have won seven of their last ten games. They are very good offensively and scored 12 goals in their last three home games. They also lay well on special teams, converting over 25% of their power play opportunities. The Penguins have done a good job killing penalties, but they continue to give up a lot of goals, with opponents scoring 12 goals against them in their last four games, so expect them to have a hard time slowing down the Lightning in this game. The Penguins have won three straight games, but they've lost six of their last ten road games. They are playing well offensively, scoring 10 goals in their last three road games. They also play well on special teams, converting over 21% of their power play opportunities. Unfortunately for them, the Lightning are great at killing penalties, and they don't give up a lot of goals at home, where they held their last four opponents to 11 total goals, so expect them to keep Pittsburgh's offense in check. Go with Tampa Bay to cover the money line. Both defenses have been struggling lately, as Pittsburgh is giving up 3.4 goals in their last five games, while Tampa Bay is allowing 4.3 goals in their previous four games. A big reason why is the opposing teams throughout the season have been getting a lot of shots on goal, as the Penguins are 29th, with 33.9 shots against per game, while the Lightning are 18th in hockey, with 31.6 shot attempts against per game. The over is 35-10-6 in their last 51 games against one another, so go with the over to hit in this game. Ottawa Senators vs Rangers The Senators and Rangers have faced each other twice this season, each winning one game on the road. New York will be fatigued in this contest, as they are on the back end of a back-to-back. -back. The Rangers have been struggling lately, losing four of their last six games. Ottawa has been playing well on offense recently. They scored three or more goals in eight of the last ten games. Ottawa has won three of their last four games playing on the road against the Rangers. With New York on the back end of a back-to-back, -back, the Senators will pull off the upset and win this matchup. Take Ottawa on the money line. The defense and goaltending have both been very good for the Rangers this season. New York ranks 10th in goals against per game and 7th in shots against per game. In the last 10 meetings between the two teams, Ottawa averages 2.60 goals per game, and New York averages 2.30 goals per game. The under is 8-1-1 in the last 10 meetings between these two teams. This will be a lower scoring game, and the under will hit. Take the under, 6 goals. Nashville Predators vs Florida Panthers Nashville seems to be punting on the season as they have dealt Nino Nadariter, Tanner Jeanet and Matches Eckholm in the past week, while also losing Ryan Johansson to surgery for the rest of the season. That makes things challenging for the Predators on both ends of the ice down the stretch of the regular season. Florida has alternated wins and losses in recent games, and they have to find some more consistency if they hope to make a run for the postseason. The Panthers haven't made any major moves with the trade deadline looming, hoping that they can get healthy and go on a run. With the Predators making changes to try and build for the future, you have to back Florida in this contest. Both teams have been clicking on offense recently. The Preds scored five or more goals in four of the last six games. The Panthers scored three or more goals in seven of the last ten games. Florida ranks eighth in goals per game and first in shots per game. Matthew Tkachuk leads the Panthers with 79 points. Tkachuk is 5th in points and 7th in assists among all players in the league. The over is 16-10-2 in Florida's 28 home games this season, and the over is 15-11-2 in Nashville's 28 road games this season. This will be a higher scoring game and the over will hit. Take the over, 6 goals. Seattle Kraken vs Detroit Red Wings. 
I give the Kraken a significant edge in this game and expect them to get a win tonight on the road. They already won the first game between these teams this season, winning 4-2 at home. Seattle's been the much better team offensively in this game, scoring the sixth most goals in the NHL, while the Red Wings have only scored the 11th fewest in the league. I expect that much bigger advantage offensively to get them the win. Take the Kraken to win on the road. Both of these teams have trended under this season, and I expect that to continue tonight. The first game between these teams stayed under by half a goal. In Seattle's games this season, the under has gone 30-27-3, and in Red Wings games the under has gone 29-28-3. Both of these teams have struggled to produce quality scoring chances. The Kraken have generated only the 10th fewest expected goals and the 8th fewest high danger shots in the league. Detroit has only scored the 11th fewest goals in the NHL, generating the 7th fewest expected goals and the 7th fewest high danger shots in the league take the under and don't expect much scoring. Buffalo Sabres vs Boston Bruins The Sabres have looked promising this season and look to win the game and pull off the upset. The problem is that the Bruins look like one of the best teams in the NHL and look to control this game from the first period. The Bruins, who average 3.73 goals per game, should pile on the goals with David Pasternak, Brad Marchand, and the rest of the forward unit, controlling the puck in the offensive zone and creating open shots with great passes. The Bruins, who allow only 2.10 goals per game, should limit the Sabres' offense with Hampus Lindholm, Brandon Carlo, and the rest of the defensive unit, creating turnovers in the defensive zone and limiting shots on the net, allowing goaltender Linus Allmark to make plenty of big saves. The Bruins should win the game and cover the spread in a dominant win on their home ice to extend their winning streak to nine games. Our team pick is Bruins minus 1.5 goals. I really like the over in this game, especially at even money. This game showcases two of the best offenses in the NHL this season. The Sabres have scored the second most goals in the NHL this season, generating the ninth most expected goals in the league. The Bruins have scored the third most goals and have generated the tenth most expected goals. The Sabres have heavily trended over this season, with the over going 34-24-1 in their games, because not only has their offense been very good, their defense and goaltending have really been a struggle. They've allowed the eighth most goals in the league, having given up the fifth most expected goals and the tenth most high danger shots in the NHL. Take the over tonight and expect plenty of goals. Dallas Stars vs Chicago Blackhawks. The Blackhawks are a depleted team, and I see the Stars taking advantage and overwhelming them on both ends of the ice. The Stars, who average 3.20 goals per game, should find the back of the net at will against the Blackhawks, who allow 3.58 goals per game, with Jason Robertson, Rupe Hintz, and the rest of the forward unit carrying the puck into the offensive zone and creating open shots with effective puck movement. The Stars should limit a Blackhawks offense that averages only 2.47 goals per game, with Issa Lindell, Miro Heiskanen, and the rest of the defensive unit, creating turnovers in the defensive zone and limiting shots on the net, allowing goaltender Jake Ettinger to make plenty of big saves. The Stars should win the game and cover the spread in a dominant performance. Our team pick is Stars minus 1.5 goals. Dallas Stars games have heavily trended under this season, with the undergoing 37-22-2. I expect that trend to continue tonight. The Stars have been very good defensively this season, allowing just the third fewest goals in the NHL, giving up just the third fewest expected goals and the third fewest high danger shots. Chicago has scored the fewest goals in the NHL, and they have generated the fewest expected goals and the seventh fewest high danger shots in the league. I don't see them even getting enough scoring chances to be able to get quality chances to score tonight. I expect Dallas to shut down the Blackhawks' offense and keep this game under the total. Take the under and don't expect a ton of scoring. Montreal Canadiens vs Los Angeles Kings Outside of a fluky playoff run in 2020, the Montreal Canadiens have been a team struggling for years now, so it comes as absolutely no surprise that the Los Angeles Kings have the edge on them, and with the injuries and pieces the Canadiens have traded away, this game should be no different. In the past eight head-to-head -head meetings in this rivalry, the Kings have come away with a 6-2 record, and in the past five overall, the favorite has a dominant 4-1 mark, so be confident in taking the playoff-hungry Kings in this one our team pick is. The Montreal Canadiens at plus 1.5 goals. 
while both of these goaltenders can be considered solid, high-end starters in the NHL in 2023, neither of them sit in the elite category, so with the deep offensive groups, there's going to be plenty of chances, with the over being 4-1-1 in the past six head-to-head matchups in Los Angeles. For Montreal, the over is 5-1-1 in their past seven games following a victory, and for Los Angeles, the over is 4-0 in their past four games played against teams with a losing record, so expect plenty of goals in what should be a surprisingly competitive contest. Keep it simple, take the over. Toronto Maple Leafs vs Calgary Flames This is going to be a great game between two great teams looking to improve in their divisions. The Maple Leafs look to win on the road, but the Flames look to bounce back from a few rough losses and control this game. The Flames should constantly find the back of the net with Nazem Kadri, Elias Lindholm, and the rest of the forward unit carrying the puck into the offensive zone and creating open shots with great puck movement. The Flames should also bounce back after allowing four goals in their last game and limit the Maple Leafs' offense, with Rasmus Anderson, Noah Hannafin, and the rest of the defensive unit creating turnovers in the defensive zone and limiting shots on the net, allowing goaltender Jacob Markstrom to make plenty of big saves. The Flames should win the game with a strong performance on their home ice. Take the Flames' money line as home favorites. Both of these teams have the defensive units and goaltending to shut any team down on any given night, but lately, it's been the offensive units that have shown brightest, with the over being 3-0 to 1 in the past four head-to-head -head meetings in Calgary. For the Maple Leafs, the over is 49-4 in their past 63 games on the road, and for the Flames, the over is 5-1 in their past six matchups against the Eastern Conference, and with both teams fighting for every point they can get, expect plenty of goals in this one. Our total pick is over 6.5 goals. Minnesota Wild vs Vancouver Canucks The Wild are having a great season and look to control this game from the first period against a struggling Canucks team. The Wild should pile on the goals against the Canucks, who allow 3.97 goals per game, with Kirill Kaprizov, Matt Zuccarello, and the rest of the forward unit carrying the puck into the offensive zone and creating open shots with effective puck movement. The Wild, who allow only 2.69 goals per game, should limit the Canucks offense with Jared Spurgeon, Jacob Middleton, and the rest of the defensive unit, creating turnovers in the defensive zone and limiting shots on the net, allowing goaltender Philip Gustafsson to make plenty of big saves. The Wild should win the game with a strong performance on the road. Take the Wild money line as road favorites. While both of these teams may have the offensive pieces needed to score plenty of goals, the defense in Minnesota has been electric as of late, and with plenty of new pieces to fit in this Vancouver team, it's unlikely that there's a lot of high-quality chances in this game. For the Wild, the under is 5-0 in their past five games against teams with a losing record, as well as being 5-0 in their past five games on the road, and while Vancouver have allowed plenty of goals lately, it's the dominant Wild defense that will take over this game as they grind out a win. Our total pick is under the total. San Jose Sharks vs St. Louis Blues this may seem like a broken record, but there is no reason to take the San Jose Sharks team at home right now. The team has just one victory in their last six home contests, and that came courtesy of a 4-0 shutout of Seattle on February 20. They have scored 13 total goals at home over their last six games, and four of those came in the victory over the Kraken. This team simply cannot score goals right now and has yielded 20 goals in the five losses. St. Louis is not the same team without O'Reilly, but they are still better than San Jose. The Blues are struggling to find an identity without their all-star, but have lost their last three games by two goals or fewer. They are keeping themselves close while San Jose is finding ways to lose. The Blues have won the last four meetings between these teams and San Jose and are 14-3 in the last 17 meetings. The San Jose Sharks suffered another loss at home, falling to the Montreal Canadiens on Tuesday, 3-1. San Jose is in the final stages of a seven-game homestand that has seen the club go 1-3-1 through the first five games, and they are 6-16-8 at home this season, the worst home record of any team in the NHL. The Sharks are 24 points behind Winnipeg for the final playoff spot. San Jose scored one goal in the contest, as Jacob McDonald scored his first goal of the season at 1:43 in the game. San Jose held that advantage for the next 47 minutes, but gave up three goals in the final 12 minutes to lose. 
The Sharks are struggling offensively of late, scoring 16 total goals over their last seven games. The Sharks are 26th on the power play, 18.4%, and 23rd in goals per game, 2.93. Take under the total, 2.5.